Hey, our friends, today we are going to draw an Easter egg stack. Yeah, when it's closed, it'll look like one Easter egg, and then when you open it, it'll be a whole stack of them. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies, some paper, and... Something to color with. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first fold our paper. We're going to take the top edge, and we're going to line it up with the bottom edge, and then when the corners are on top of each other, crease it down the middle, and then out to the sides. Yeah. Then we're going to take the top flap and line it up with the top edge and then crease that down also. Then we're going to flip over our paper and repeat that same step. We're going to take that top flap, line it up, and then crease it down. And if you need to, if we went too fast, remember you can always pause the video and even rewind the video if you need to watch the step over again. We're going to take that last flap, flatten it out. This is just a guide fold for when we're drawing. Now let's flip our paper back over and it should open up like this when we're all done. Now we also have the second sheet of paper we'll put underneath. This is just scratch paper. It doesn't have to be red, but we're using this to protect our table when we're drawing with our markers. Now we're ready to draw and we're using markers. You don't have to use a marker. You can use whatever you have at home. And uh, because we're using markers, we're also drawing on marker paper. All right, let's draw our first egg. We're gonna draw the bottom of the egg first. We're gonna draw the letter U in the middle of our paper. And we're also drawing this U shape below the fold. Now we're gonna draw the top of the egg. We're gonna draw an upside down U, but I'm also drawing kind of a point at the top. That way it looks like an egg shape. So down here at the bottom, I got this big curve and up at the top, it's a little more pointy. Yes, just like that. Now we're ready to open up our Easter egg. And then when we open it up, we'll have half of the Easter egg at the top and the other half down here at the bottom. Now we're ready to draw everything inside of the folding surprise. Now this part, we'll make sure that we draw everything below the top fold and above the bottom fold. That way, when we fold it back up at the end, it's all hidden in the surprise part. So down here at the bottom, let's complete this first egg. So we're gonna just repeat that same step where we draw, I don't know, that, smaller U-shape or pointed U-shape. It's not a point, but it's got a tighter curve at the top. Yes, okay, now let's draw another Easter egg and we're gonna draw them overlapping. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna draw it also tipping. And this is a little tricky. We're gonna just try to draw an oval shape with a little point at the top and my mine's a little weird. That's okay. <laughs> We're practicing, right? Mm -hmm. The most important thing is? To have fun and to practice. Yeah, have fun and practice. Okay, now let's draw another one. And I'm going to tip it this way. So I'm going to draw, trying to draw that point at the top of the Easter egg. And then we're going to curve down to the bottom. That looks a little better. This one's a big one. Now up here at the top, let's draw the rest of this egg. And we're going to overlap behind this one here. So we'll imagine it going behind and coming out the other side to connect. Yeah, I love that yours doesn't overlap as much. That's cool too. There's our Easter egg stack. Well, they just look like eggs and we could decorate them, but let's do that later. Let's add a couple bunnies. But let's first draw their hands. We'll draw one set of hands here. And I'm gonna draw two U shapes coming over the side of the egg. Then we can also draw a line right down the middle for the fingers of the paws. <laughs> Then let's also draw the head. I'm going to draw it right coming out like this. So I'm going to draw a circle, well, part of a circle. The rest of it is behind the egg right here. <laughs> then let's draw the face. I'm going to first draw the letter B for the nose. Then we can draw a U shape on the left and also on the right for the mouth. And then I'm going to draw a letter U coming down for the mouth. Yeah. And then we can also draw a little curve for the tongue and color in that top shape. Then let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw two upside down U shapes for happy little bunny eyes. <laughs> now we can also add little eyelashes if you want. Oh, we got to draw the ears, but we want to make sure that the ears don't go above this fold. So I'm going to draw your, you have more room on yours, so you could just draw them straight up. I'm going to draw them coming out to the side like this 
for one ear and I'm going to draw the inside of the bunny ear too. Yeah, and then I'm going to draw the other one coming out like this. And you just want to make sure that you don't go above that fold. And then the inside of the ear too. <laughs> Good job. We did it. There's one bunny. Let's add another bunny over here. We could draw the paws coming over the egg, just like we did over here. And we could also draw a little line going down the middle. And then let's draw the head also. So we're going to draw that big circle, but only part of the circle because the rest of the head is behind the egg. Then let's repeat all of those same steps. So I'm going to draw a V for the nose and we'll go a little faster since we're just repeating the same steps. Two letter U's for the side of the mouth and then we can draw a big letter U for the open or the bottom of the mouth and then the curve for the tongue and then color in that top shape. Then let's draw the eyes. This time I'm going to draw a circle for one eye and a circle for the other eye. And then we can color in those circles too. I'm going to leave a little highlight though to make the eyes look shiny. What's the next step? Ears. Yeah, the ears. Let's draw an upside down U shape. This is going to go behind the Easter egg and then come down and connect again. Yeah. And then we could also draw that little shape on the inside for the rest of the ear. And then let's do one more ear right next to it. And we can repeat that same shape, but smaller for the inside. Oh, we could also add a little tail sticking out on this side of the egg. <laughs> Oh, let's add another tail right here too for the other bunny. We did it, Taryn. We finished drawing our Easter egg stack. It looks awesome, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. Also be sure to decorate your Easter eggs. We're gonna leave that part off and decorate them our own way. So you can use your own creativity to change the decorations on each egg. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring our Easter eggs and they look so much better colored in. But we gotta show our friends the inside. You okay. ready? Yes. On the count of three. One, two, three. Happy, Happy Easter! Easter. <laughs> <laughs> I love yours so much. I especially love how you decorated each of the eggs. Now you guys can pause the video to match our same decorating or you could change them any way you want. You can even change the colors. Oh, you could even add more things in the background too. I added carrots, but you could leave that off too. You could also add even more bunnies. Oh yeah, you could also add Easter eggs, more Easter eggs. We hope you had fun drawing your Easter egg stack. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take extra time to color your drawings and add even more things to the inside. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.